Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. In this video, I'll be showing you how to extract audio from the HDMI signal. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, imagine you have a projector and you hook up your HDMI signal into the projector and you get a very beautiful video. However, the audio quality is poor because the audio from this projector is only 5 watt, which is very uh, low and the quality is very tingy. Now, what if I want to be able to extract that audio and output it to a better speaker like this one here? This is a 60 watt system. Now you can even go further and do a thousand watt. Okay, so for example, if it's a movie night or a video presentation, you want to have a bigger, better sound. So I'm gonna show you today how I do that. Let's talk about it right now. Alright, so you have an HMI signal and you plug it into your projector or even your monitor, right, like you have here, and you want to present it to your audience, right, whether it's a movie or whether it is a presentation, and you have a lot of nice quality sound. So if you plug it directly into the projector itself, the audio is going to output directly into the audio from the projector, which is only 5 watt. Now, how would then do we get a better quality sound, a larger or amplified sound that can redirect it into a bigger speaker like this one here? Well, there is a device called the HMI Audio Extractor. You probably can get it from um, Amazon or Timu or AliExpress. Okay, I'm not into brand. It's a no-name brand. You can just get it. Just look for that. HMI Audio Extractor. It doesn't have to be this device. It could be anything. The important thing though is that there's a HDMI going in, the signal, and remember, you should try to get one that's 4K compatible, right? And then the uh, HDMI out signal, so the signal is preserved, and then you have the audio out. So you want to connect this audio out to your audio system, which has a, a three and a half uh, millimeter connector to the uh, speaker. Now, for this device here, the audio out is not amplified, so it's a very low signal, okay? So you need to amplify it, and I would advise you to get another uh, device. It's an amplifier. This one I got. Um, I, I can't remember where I got it from, but it's basically amplify the sound from this video out and give it a special effect. So for example, in this device, I could add in echo. I could, uh, I could add in more... Uh, bass and treble uh, in the audio, okay? So there's a lot of adjustment here. You can get an audio amplifier to do that. And this is a very cheap one you can get uh, anywhere. So you take that audio, plug into the audio amplifier, and then the audio amplifier is then connected directly into this speaker or any speakers that you want, okay? And the sound quality is much, much, much better. Now have a look at this uh, video that I'm playing and I'll show you the comparison, okay? So if I play this video here, and let's see, it's good, but it's not loud enough. But if you want it louder than this one, you hook up to a, let's say a uh, audio system, okay? Through this amplifier. And then let's see how it sounds. Yeah. See that? The, you help her and you help us. As you can see, the sound quality coming from this speaker is much better than the monitor. The monitor sound is a bit tingy, whereas this sound is very deep in bass and it sounds very good overall. Uh, very loud and very crisp and there's that bass that you want, especially in the movies. All right, let's review this uh, device again, the HMI audio extractor. So you take in the HMI signal in and then you get uh, HMI signal out, exactly what you put in. But what come out of it also is the audio out. That audio out is then hooked up to an amplifier uh, that can adjust, like say, the bass and the treble and other uh, audio signals. Uh, you don't have to use this one, but I think I highly recommend it to have that. And then from then, that audio amplifier will connect to your speaker, and that speaker then depend on you know the wattage. This is a 60 watt system, which is good enough for a small room. If you want a bigger room, then of course you want maybe you know 500, 1,000 watt or 2,000 watt system. Okay depending on you know, your audience, how uh, loud the sound you want. 
and that's that's about it so that's how you go about uh, taking a HMI signal and split it into the signal and the audio uh, system so you can have a better sound all right so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and give me a little heart of appreciation I'll talk to you soon bye